Today, Sotheby's International Realty operates in the San Francisco Peninsula and Silicon Valley. They offer exclusive Sotheby's International Realty marketing, advertising, and global referral services designed to attract well-qualified buyers to the company's property listings. They also add new technologies to the 200-year-old tradition of exceptional service, such as their Lifestyles website. Visit them at svlifestyles.com for those that are interested in some of the finer things in life. From exotic cars to yachts, fashion, finance, food, wine and spirits, there is video that fits all those lifestyles and more. svlifestyles.com In addition, the company and its clients benefit from an association with the Sotheby's Auction House, which promotes real estate referral opportunities with auction house clientele. Visit them at todaysir.com or call 650-597-1800. 650-597-1800. Welcome to Real Estate Radio Live, an informative and engaging podcast discussing everything you need to know about the world of real estate. Your host, Joe Kachera, provides you with insight and guidance on how to buy, sell, finance, and invest in real estate. He also offers real estate tax management strategies, new construction advice, home improvement tips, and much, much more. And now, to guide you around the world of real estate, here's your host and Real Estate Radio Live team leader, Joe Kachera. Welcome in. This is Joe Kachera with Real Estate Radio Live, our podcast series, sitting alongside Buddy and Bobby. And uh, today's title of the show is going to be Consumer Resource Guide for Overseas Property Ownership. Excited to continue these series. Again, if you want more information, anything about real estate, be sure to contact Bobby Decker at area code 650-346-5352 or visit our website at bobbydecker.com. Dot com. Any information on financing, purchasing, uh, or refinancing, you contact me at area code 408-838-9060 or go to reradiolive.com. We're going to continue talking today again uh, alongside Bub- Buddy and Bobby, International Realty Affiliate with Silicon Valley with Sotheby's. Welcome in, you guys. Well, always good to be with you, Joe. Always, always great fun. to be here. Always great to be here. So listen, we have definitely increased everybody's appetite for offshore living, <laughs> vacationing, that. investing, golfing. <laughs> Threw that in for you, <laughs> for you, Mr. Joe. In Central America with Michael Cobb, who's chairman and CEO of ECI Development in a previous program. And now he was talking to us back then about his firm's developments in Belize, Nicaragua. You've got Panama. You've got Costa Costa Rica. This program, the one we're doing right now, is to introduce a white paper that Michael has crafted, mm. and it's called the Consumer Resource Guide for Overseas Property Ownership, and is a must-read. And you know how I always say there's truth in what we say, Joe? I read it last <laughs> Especially night. Especially what we say. I read it. 42 <laughs> pages. I read it, wow. folks. So if you've got questions, i got answers. She's and if I don't, you. Michael does. And this really ties into our Living Longer, Living mm-hmm. Better series, because seniors are looking for somewhere to go overseas, you know, to either invest or to go live themselves. And gosh, this is so, so amazingly long and so full of detail. Michael, welcome back. I can't wait for you to talk about this. Well, Bobby and and Buddy Joe, thanks for having me back on the program. And and it is exciting because, you know, this was a labor of love and, and, and it really is a compilation of the kinds of experiences. And, and I actually call it tuition that I've over the 20 years of working in the region and information hopefully you know our folks don't have to pay some of the same tuition that we've paid um, but you know it, it helps ease the experience of, of coming and living and, and vacationing in this part of the world so uh, happy to be here and happy to talk about it well it's quite long so we're probably not going to be able to cover it all all those pages that Bobby's already already read, and I've uh, I've done a little bit of reading there myself, but because it's so long, we're going to probably have to stick to just a few key points today. But in order to kind of really get a sense of it, how about if you read down the table of contents for us? It'll give people a broad insight as to how extensive and detailed this report really is. 
Yeah, absolutely. And and the first one is, are you ready to live in a foreign country quiz? And and Bobby, I want to know how you did on that. <laughs> Do you? Well, I got I got over thirty, so my plane tickets bought. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, you know, it, it's funny. I pick up stuff over the years, and I picked up this quiz somewhere along the way. It's a great little quiz. It says, you know, you just ask a bunch of questions, and like at the end, you score yourself, and you got a thirty, so you know you're you're ready to move. But um, you know, the other things we cover are maybe a little more serious, uh, mm-hmm. although knowing if you're ready or not is pretty serious. But, you know, the 15 critical must ask questions when buying real estate overseas. And we're, that's, I think, what we're going to talk a lot about today. It comes along with the property owner checklist uh, and then some articles, retirees in peril, a solution to the crisis at hand, talking about the Ernst & Young report, uh, uh, creating community south of the border, the importance of community. And, and finding friends and neighbors when we when we make a big move like this. Uh, risk and the perception of risk are two different things. Uh, th- that's a very important understanding to have as we're looking south of the border. Things that may you know come with sort of a connotation may not be true. Uh, so again, risk and the perception of risk are two different things. Uh, wealth management strategies of the ultra rich and some ways that uh, you know true diversification, portfolio diversification, makes a lot of sense. Uh, Demographics and scarcity. Uh, The next one is uh, one of my favorites. What's the real cost? This is an article about, you know, cost of buying something versus the cost of ownership over time, whether it's 10 years, 20 years. And when you play that out, uh, just how quickly south of the border starts to become extremely affordable. And then we have our country handbooks. Uh, We've summarized some of our country handbooks, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Chile, Ecuador, uh, I think we've got four or five page little hand, you know, cutouts of our you know, 50, 60 page handbooks that we have available for folks as well. And then finally, the quiz results. So uh, pretty, pretty comprehensive white paper, and it covers you know, kind of almost everything somebody would need to know very generally uh, you know, when they come to, come to our part of the world. And, and this might be a good chance for me to plug something. I'm actually working on a book, guys, and the book will follow this same consumer resource guide but expand it out to cover some of these topics in much greater detail. And as soon as we have that available, I maybe you know eight nine months from now, you can get me back on the show and we'll talk about the book. And and uh, but but again, great great topics and great things for folks who are thinking about owning property overseas to really pay attention to. Very good. We can't wait to hear more about the book. Does sure. he ever sleep, Michael? <laughs> are you one of these three hour a night people? No, you know what? I am an eight hour a night guy, but you. I figure the other sixteen hours I need to make them really count. So yeah. I do <laughs> productive as possible. And it we may like have, that's right. <laughs> we may have touched on a couple already, Michael. But can we cover the fifteen critical must ask questions? Can we go through those quickly? Um, a- a- absolutely. Um, yeah, I-, I think the basic premise is you know there. I, I like to say there are fifteen critical questions, mm-hmm. and if we stick to three basic concepts. We can really avoid a lot of the problems okay. that, that come from buying property overseas. But the, the most important thing is a statement that I like to make. It's that I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> right? See, if, if, if I don't, profound. if I don't, if I'm not even, I, I think humility, let me just be very clear. Mm-hmm. This is a statement of humility. I don't know what I don't know. And, and so what I need to do is become a lot more humble and just assume that that lots of new things are going to happen, and I need to pay attention much more carefully, and and also forget the kinds of things that I think I might know. So I think it'll become, you know, more apparent what, what I'm really kind of talking about. But you know, for for instance, the, the the three basic principles are buy what you see, own community, and know the developer. And these 15 questions have been broken up into, you know, three sets. So buy what you see. If we just kind of in our heads think, buy what you see. So here's one question number one. Is there year-round access to the property, right? And we think, well, of course there is. But, you know, not all roads in Central and South America are accessible in, you know, rainy season especially. And so, again, knowing that you can get there all year round is important. Uh, you know, what is the road and public infrastructure? What, what, is, what is it that currently exists? 
I like to say that Gunna, uh, spelled G-U-N-N-A, Gunna is the most popular word in the developer lexicon. You know, we're gonna put the electric in. We're gonna build a golf course. We're <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> right. Yeah, right. Had me going and, for a second. <laughs> right, gonna. It's like and, I and didn't so, read that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure it's in here. I should. Yeah, that'll be in my book. I'll put that in my you book. should a new um, a new word. <laughs> <laughs> right, but you know the the idea that buy what you say takes care of. Well, if they're gonna put the electric in, that means it's not there yet. So pay f- for a piece of property that's valued at the infrastructure that's currently there. Things like we would take for granted. Here's a classic case of forget what we think we know. Right? Is there enough fresh water and water pressure in the United States? I mean, the, the municipalities generally deliver that, or there's certainly standards by which you know the water pressure is guaranteed and measured. You go south of the border, the standards might be there, but they're certainly not being measured and, and enforced. And so, again, just knowing that there's enough water and water pressure. Number four, I, I actually highlighted it for this conversation because I, I love this question. Is the house or condominium plumbed with hot water to all the bathrooms? And, and I mean, I, I, I did not take a picture of the top of the, of the counter, but um, this was a $350,000, $400,000, very nice home. And I was in one of the guest bathrooms, granite countertops, beautiful wood cabinetry. I mean, just a really nice bathroom and a beautiful faucet on the top, you know, $150 Moen or Delta kind of faucet on the top there. And, uh, and, and I knew what I needed to do, which was get down on my hands and knees, open the cabinet door and look underneath. <laughs> and what I saw underneath was a cold water pipe sticking out of the wall with a Y adapter running cold water to both of the handles on the faucet up top. Oops. And what that – I mean, this is incredible stuff, right? And you think, my goodness. So really, and if you hadn't – if you know, if, if you read this and then we talk about getting down on your knees and looking under, right? But I mean, like if you don't know that, see, yeah. we don't know what we don't know. And so, my goodness, I mean, you'd buy this beautiful home – and you'd have no hot water in your in your guest bathrooms. And so anyway, so, uh, you know, buy what you see, but you also need to be able to look for the things you don't know to look for. And that's why this, you know, these, these questions are so important. Uh, you know, the fifth question here is how far is it to major medical care? And it's not that's miles. That's always a big it's, one. Yeah. It right. Is. It's how long. Right. I mean, it could be 10 miles on a horrible road and it takes 30 minutes. Right. Or it could be, you know, 10 miles on interstate. and It could take, you know, eight minutes if you're in a hurry. So, again, time is far more important than distance measured in any kind of you know, miles or kilometers. Uh, the next grouping of five questions uh, is is really focused on the idea of owning community and why this is so important is especially if you're, if you're coming to visit or vacation, it's a lot less important. But if you're a snowbird or or a full time retiree, someone who's living in Minnesota, you, you're, you're selling your house up there. You, you just retired, so you've left your job. You're leaving your church. Uh, you might belong to the Rotary Club or the Lions. You belong to a softball league in the summer, uh, all three days of it in Minnesota. Sorry, I hope I don't offend my Minnesota friends. But anyway, um, <clears throat> you know, you, you're leaving all of this and all of your friends, all of your networks, and you're moving someplace new. And, and, and you'll see in a minute from these questions why owning community is so important. Because when we get to this new place, like we, we want friends. Most of us want friends and neighbors, and we want to have, be able to play cards with people, go golf with people, whatever it is. And so owning community is critically important. And so these next five questions deal yeah. specifically with that. Yeah, and Michael, you know, number six. Michael, Michael? We, sorry. We, had, uh, we had a lot of conversations <laughs> in prior shows about the expat community and mm-hmm. going where they are. So the scenario yes. that, uh, that we need to get to, because we're kind of on a timeline, is, is you've got okay. uh, up, to 10 more, or up to 10 points in this particular category. But let's jump into the last category, and what we'll do is offer up a way for people to connect with this, uh, with this yes. particular document. Absolutely. So, uh, the, you know, the final piece is know the developer. Um, you know, so important that, you know, again, in the U.S., we have, you know, we have all the, I would call it, you know, the big brother, right? We have the different agencies, whether it's the, you know, the local, county, state, you know, federal agencies that regulate everything from zoning to what can be built, when it can be built. And and when you go south of the border, zoning really doesn't exist. And, and, and truth and advertising laws really are very lax. 
Um, and, and so uh, knowing the developer is so important. It, 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 I, I like to view it as a marriage. You know, we, we, a lot of people, you know, they come to Central South America, they see a beautiful piece of property, a home, a condo, they buy it, but they don't know anything about the developer. Well, in three years, four years, ten years, you know, the, the relationship with the developer is the relationship that counts for things like, you know, taking care of warranty issues or, uh, t- you know, what's the vision of the community long term. And so if we look at buying a piece of property overseas like a marriage, we spend some time. We ask for a copy of the business plan. We might ask for financials uh, to make sure that if, you know, if they, if they say this is what they're going to do in the future, uh, you know, and, and you really like the property and you understand you're, you're buying something that's not there yet, but do they have the money to do it? Do they have the team behind them to make it happen? Uh, do they have a business plan? I think that's so simple. Like, I mean, people developing a big piece of property, I mean, it doesn't have to be a 200-page business plan. It could be a five-page business plan. But, but I think, you know, having a business plan, saying I wrote it down, is certainly a lot better than trying to develop on a wing and a prayer. So uh, these last questions really go to this concept of knowing the developer and understanding who you're going to have a relationship with in the future. Because unlike the U.S. where you've got all kinds of recourse, again, to the different agencies, whether it's you know local, state, federal, uh, south of the border, you don't have much recourse. And so that, that relationship with the developer is absolutely paramount. Well said, well said. Again, if you're tuning into our podcast series, this is Joe Cachero sitting alongside Buddy and Bobby. We are interviewing Michael Cobb. He's the chairman and CEO of ECI Development. And the topic today is Consumer Resource Guide for Overseas Property Ownership. If Again, if you have any needs or wants in real estate, be sure to contact Bobby Decker at 650-346-5352. Or you can go to our website at bobbydecker.com. If you need any financing, information on purchases, refinance, contact myself, Joe Cachera, at 408-838-9060, or you could always contact me by going to reradiolive.com. Okay, and this report is just fabulous. So if you would like to get a copy of this report, you can connect with Bobby, and she'll provide a copy for you. Perfect. Bobby, how can they reach you? You can get me at Bobby, B-O-B-B-I, at bobbydecker.com. Or you can give me a text, or you can voicemail me at 650-346-5352. Okay. Very good. Anything else uh, we want to cover before we summarize things here, Michael? No. Yeah, I, I'm really happy to be on the program and, and letting folks know that a resource tool like this is available. Uh, it's, it's critically important. Again, I think just knowing that this exists kind of falls into the we don't know what we don't know. and. And, and now folks who are listening to this podcast, you know, probably understand they need to get a copy of this consumer resource guides if they're thinking about property overseas to make sure they're asking the right questions for the, you know, for their benefit uh, to the realtor, to the developer. So uh, reach out to Bobby and get a copy of it. I think the most important one on that list, even though they're all very important, Michael, is to buy what you see. I did not Mm -hmm. understand that until I read your white paper and the fact that you can have one cold pipe coming in, going to two faucets (laughs) that, you know, I mean, if you don't see it, it, I'm going to put in the swimming pool (laughs) and I'm going to put in. And even your walkthrough checklist made me laugh because ours is so extensive in California. And yet yours is like... Um, is the water line hooked up? Do you have <laughs> plugs on every wall? And I'm going, really? But it was very interesting, enlightening. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, yeah. And, and Bobby, I take it you don't like cold showers. Is that what I'm hearing? Nah, even when it's 90, I'm not a cold shower gal. Well, before, we, okay. uh, before we finish this one up, Michael, again, if you give the listeners uh, any contact information for yourself, website, phone number, what's the best way to uh, contact you if they want more information as well? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, website is the best. I'm on the road a lot. I do travel. Um, but the website is ecidevelopment.com, uh, www.ecidevelopment.com. Uh, and if you want to reach out uh, to me, you can hit mcob at ecidevelopment.com with a quick email, and I will uh, you know, get back to you. And if you want to do a voice call, always happy to do that as well. So. Very good. Michael, I want to thank you for your time. Again, there's uh, just a number of uh, different series we're doing with you, and this is uh, 
the type of education information we want to share with our listeners all over the world, quite frankly, on our podcast. So thanks, thanks again for your time. Well, and thanks for having me. I look forward to doing some more of it in the future. And we're looking forward to the book. Yes, that's <laughs> right. Oh, absolutely. And I'll go over that walkthrough checklist, you know, yeah. with you, because that it was very interesting. <laughs> Very good. Oh, very good. Well, we'll see you. You remember, you got that 30 on the quiz, which means you're coming down soon. So. That's right. I'll be well. there soon. <laughs> All right. This is Joe Cuchero with Real Estate Radio Live, our podcast series, sitting alongside Bobby and Buddy. Remember, for more information, always uh, you can always go to reradiolive.com until the next podcast. Thanks again. Have a great afternoon. You've been listening to Real Estate Radio Live. For more information on today's program, visit reradiolive.com. That's reradiolive.com. Subscribe to our podcast. Discover more at reradiolive.com.